afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting, riveting, and amazing propaganda cast from your host, Imperial Dane, the one, the only master of propaganda. We're off here to a one versus one on Crossroads. The North it is Tiramiso, fighting for America, freedom, democracy, taking on the role here of the first armor division with urban assault, mechanized, and airborne company, featuring triple infantry bulletins versus the South it is expensive runner, fighting for the Wehrmacht, Germany, Deutschland, taking on the role here of the Panzerlehr Panzerdivision with defensive German infantry and Ostruppen, triple infantry bulletin there for expensive runner. We got a Grenadier MD4 2 start there versus double rifle there for Tiramiso. And as always, it would make me very happy if you could like, subscribe, and share the video. If you subscribe, you haven't do subscribe, press the bell button. And of course, also throw down some comments what moments that you think were cool in the video and so on there. Which is what could you have done better, maybe, though. Do be respectful about it. I do see some players tend to get nasty when they sort of like suggest improvements. That's not very nice. Let's come on, people. Let's try and be constructive in this. And of course, a big thanks to my patron supporters, without which so many other episodes, this episode, some of those have not been possible. Certainly a key reason I keep doing this. You two can join the ranks by pledging on Patreon or just donating. Links in the video description. We got point things east with rifle squad. Point to be moving west with well. We got east push as well by uh, Tiramis rifle. Name meanwhile expand from the floating hearts east. We got these MD42 pioneers all working together re within reasonable distance of each other. So if Tiramis tries anything there, he can meet it with a uh, well well projected force there. Pioneers laying down sandbags. Bart wire. Got these in the point here. Right moving about there. Third rifle squad away for Tiramiso. Same going to be a squad there for expensive run out. MG4 setting up here, back up the gunners. There you go, Ralph's got been caught here in line of fire. That's going to be a treaty, I think, from Tiramiso. He is trying to make for cover, but ultimately does make it, and Jack there drops dead. His stomach riddled with bullets. MG4 to Ralph's got been at the east west side here. Tiramiso's probably going to look to flank behind Expense Runner, hook around and hit him in the weaker spots. We'll have to see, of course, how Expense Runner predicts this, or if he can predict this, and then reacts. Third Ralph's called out here for Tiramiso, America, Freedom, Democracy. Fun fact about the American infantry doctrine, there are some key differences, for example, how they sort of view what weapons were important. The American army put emphasis on the M1 Garand, they have got a bit of engagement, whereas the Germans sort of put focus on the machine gun. So that sort of led to the Americans having more modern rifles, but rather old machine guns, compared to where the Germans operate with older rifles, but on hand, much more modern machine guns. So, little fun fact there. Third one is got there for expense run of rifle number the MD42, the Grenadiers here. Flank up behind here, expense suddenly caught in a bit of an awkward position here by Tidemiso, and there you go. With the opportunity now rushing for the MD42 here, as expense run left to do. We got Pioneers rushing in, but they're not going to have to stop the Rav Squad up close. Now we got Rav Squad in here as well there. Expense run caught in a really bad place here. Tiramiso springs the trap here on expense run. And it seems they're being cleared out. Oh, I'm surprised they didn't run after it here, possibly due to the Pioneers. He might be a bit more hesitant. Either way, though, engaged from the center. I would say it was one to a degree here, but Tiramiso, they didn't actually get any, like, any kills of high degree. They didn't serious damage in there. Trying to figure out the expense run, you'll try to set up a fresh position so you can hold off Tidamiso. Whereas Tidamiso, of course, looking to so further destabilize expense run here. We got Raffin on the flank here, MG4 setting up again. And of course, realize that Raffin's moving up on the right flank, he's trying to deal with that, but of course, losing Vogel here as well. There you go, Raffin's moving on the west side. We've probably got take up here for Tidamiso going on as well. All of this is happening. Expense run, could also take up while he has gone for German infantry, featuring the 250 half track. Veteran squad leaders, stormtroopers, assault and hold, and of course, fragmentation bombs. Fourth gun of the escort here, yeah, coming to south there with German infantry. Want a lot of gun of then to upgrade. Punishment against the rifle squad, ambulance ready for Tiramisu. And we got the lieutenant as well there, just in time on top of that. Hey, finally continues. There you go. Tiramisu taking advantage of the fighting here by the center. Drat the fuel point behind. Expense runners back. He is running his machine load to deal with that. At the same time, far west gun of the escort moving west for sea, looking to take advantage of Tiramisu's focus on the center here. Both players effectively looking to outsmart the other one. Hard to say this getting hit, but looks like Tiramisu is now getting punished here by Expense Runner. The Re Echelons will have to fall back some before they get turned into a fine crisp here by the Pioneers. Gonna need to take a mount of catch there from Rafa to Rafa themselves are not in a great position now. The Lieutenant here moving eastwards here, gonna look to flank the machine gun. But he's gonna be spotted here due to the point, but does Expense Runner realize this? Rafa's caught there, suppressed, but they still grab the point here. Lieutenant moving in, the machine losing gunners now. And there you go, Expense Runner realizes he has to retreat. A lot of action here. A lot of furious fighting. Ralph Court needs to fall back. The two lone helps to be a much worth fighting, I think, there. We got the mechanized command push there for Tiramisu. Still no sound of doctrine there from Tiramisu, but he, of course, now has managed to use the fuel point there. Though Expanse Runner is looking to equalize that by hitting Tiramisu's fuel. But even with that, he is currently getting twice as much fuel here than Expanse Runner, and that is definitely an issue there for Expanse Runner longer match. He needs to take up. There we go. And as soon as he can, of course, getting his Gunnadiers upgrade to Veteran Gunnadiers would be incredibly useful. Troops have been forcing healing. And 
Mechanized Command Post almost done. We're probably seeing a fast dude here from Tiramisu versus Expensive Runner. Right from Gerson here, catching the Punita, pushing them back. West side here, going to be in the Western Fuel Point there. Eastern Victory Point being seized for Tiramisu. We'll return here, going for a deeper flank on Expensive Runner. You could consider chucking out a 250 half to here to maybe try and get a bit under Tiramisu with that. Obviously, it has its risks, but. On the other hand, it could certainly uh, throw Tiramisu off a bit, maybe give Expense Run a bit of a chance here to turn the game on his favor. Otherwise, Tiramisu can in fact go for the steward in a few moments, if not right now. There we go, to a light tank. Expense Run has yet to get any anti tank weapons. He's first now building the light to make a nice company, so Tiramisu is going to hit Expense Run here with a light tank before Expense Run is going to be reasonably well prepared for it, unless he's been laying down telemines, which, by the look of things, he has not. It's using it's an eastern point. Stood light tank halfway down there for Tiramiso. We got the west side here with the rifleman, the GIs, which they were sort of given as a nickname, standing f meaning general issue, which is sort of what most of the equipment was stamped with, I believe. Stood light tank almost done. Back here, like to make a nice company, and he's going for the pack 40. Obviously, with the way the resource situation been, he's obviously expecting a stood light tank here from Tiramiso very fast, so he's going to eat the pack 40 out of there to stop that. The other solution would have gone for Panzer going to be used with Panzer Strax, but. That could quickly turn against him, depending how Tiramisu handles it. And might struggle to get close enough to the Stuart Light Tank, which is the big issue. Whereas the Pack 40, you know, doesn't have to get too close and can sort of snap at it from a range. Plus, it will obviously draw away from veteran grenadiers, which is something you definitely want to fight better versus the rifleman. And obviously, for Tiramisu, he probably wants them to respond to him with weapon racks so he can fight the veteran grenadiers better, because against veteran grenadiers, the rival squads unupgraded do not perform particularly well. So he's going to have to like go for something upgraded to that soon. So the light tank roaming in there. we got one kilometer so far. Right from here going for the calf point. Hitting their retreating units under expensive runners command. Pioneers going in. Almost got the calf point there again. Weapon racks unlocked. Very good there. Thumbs up to Tiramisu so far. As you can see they're very sharp. Strong timing there. That is also I think a very important skill to have in coming soon. Something where some mid-tier players can be a bit slouchy as they tend to not be as quite fast with the timing. But you can see with Tiramisu, he's already got the Sewer Light Tank out and the Weapon Racks at the same minute mark. Very aggressive stuff here versus Expense Runner there. And we got the Veterans on these being reinforced. Pack 40 opening up there. First shot, there is a whiff. And then Garavan falling back in the east. Lieutenant of the Moving Ahead. While he does have the Weapon Racks unlocked, we get to see any bars being handed out, but that's about to change here. Ground the centre victory point. He's up. We got Lieutenant with the Gunnadiers there. The veteran Gunnadiers. Two squads have upgraded. I imagine there'll be a third one soon enough. Just a matter of moments. Steward Light Tank there. Fine work. Gunnadiers being slowly bit out. Pack 40 gets a shot off and misses the Steward Light Tank again. Clearly, Cross Eyed Kurt is not the guy you want as the gunner. Gunnadiers Pioneers being about there. Ralph Court falling back. Steward Light Tank there with three kills still. Could try and grab the point here, maybe try and flank behind Expense Runner there under Tiramisu's command. And of course, for Expense Runner putting more pressure on the light flank, left flank might be an idea here. But there you go, two squads now equipped with BARs here under Tiramisu's command, increasing their firepower significantly. Expense Runner going for the 2 to 2 armored car, like the Panzer Spielwagen. Rather than getting to the here, taking some casualties out in the open. Shots being fired back and forth here. Up here, Stuart Light Tank's about to get fixed, and back here, Trip reinforcing healing. Bars being handed out again. Plenty of firepower there, which is going to make it harder for Expense Runners going to use to easily resist them. Going to use that near the Rathman with the bars. That is definitely not great news for the Gunnadiers there. Cash is quickly piling up. More men moving in. Stood light tank halfway done and being fixed. As for further stuff going in, we got the armor car ready. No sign of any attack there. Gunnadiers routed. So far, Tidamisu has been taking strong map control here. Expense Runner is struggling. He's just depending what he's got because Tidamisu just keeps attacking. Piling on the pressure, and Expensive, of course, is looking to somehow fight off Tidamisu well enough they actually push ahead. But so far, Tidamisu has been able to inflict a sufficient number of losses on Expensive Runner with every attack that Expensive Runner simply cannot reach through. I still think he's trying to sneak up some force from time to time on the left flank. But, anyways, are we finding here? No bazookas though yet from Tidamisu. Packs about to get flanking. Nice deep flank here for Tidamisu. Flanking is always important, yet it's also something some players tend to ignore. Or refuse to do because it's too much effort. I've actually heard that one from some players that like don't like flanking because it takes time. Then he's right. We got a cap now for Tiramisu. So 
So I'd probably anti tank guns. Not quite fast, medium arm, which you'd figure he'd kind of do with the lead he has there. Oh, he's going for the pack howitzer. Interesting. So he's going for the mechanized command post there as well. Basically, thinking he just wants to pummel, expense run into submission rather than push for tanks here. Interesting decision. Very interesting one. Obviously, with little territory left for expense runners, it can be hard for him just to maneuver in with a tank and sort of get off some shots. So I do understand the logic in going for Talia, to be honest. I do understand the logic of it. Almost done there. Pack 4 to be moved about, season the points in the east. Pack cards are right about down there for Tiramiso and the 1st Armored Division. Now the pack 40 the fake Spencer runner. He's obviously worried about enemy armor. He's not aware his opponent's actually going to go for a pack out instead. But there you go. M1 75 millimeter pack out already. The pack out was basically a howitzer meant for mountain infantry and airborne troops. At least they were used for them as well because well it's much more easy to transport around than other artillery pieces, which is typically what is needed in the mountains of you being airdropped. So little fun fact that typical American infantry divisions would. Generally not have access to these, but I suppose there's always a chance that someone got their hands on some. Then he's at the house here. That house is about to come with some serious firepower from the artillery there. And we go. Gunnies down to three men. Need to retreat. Cap numbing up here. Stuart Chan here for the two. Take a hit here from the pack 40 by the hedges. Empty portals are flying away there. Ooh, main gun out there. Pack house going to turn about. Probably going to bind position. Expense will cause realizing this, but it means holding it out of there. Which is definitely the right move. In the center, Tiramiso's men stand ready to assail the Krauts. Show those Nazis who's the boss. And he's still falling a bit back here. In the base, we got Tega there for expense runner. Tiramiso's yet to do that. Still no sign of a doctrine from Tiramiso either. Perhaps hesitant, trying to figure out which tool he exactly wants to crack this German walnut. He's under fire. Noting Bazooka's up there as well. That is a very particularly explosive minesweeper. Using the point here, very good. 308 versus 479. We've got Captain here versus the Grenadiers. We've got Ralph Squad in there. We've got Ralph Squad here as well. Lots of bar fire there on expense runners' troops. Damage swiftly being inflicted. Casualties piling up. Ralph off against Ralph Squad. Oh dear, that was a great one there, but not enough to finish off the entire unit. Fortunately for Tilly Missiles, we've been probably been a bit sad about that. Presumed team there dealing with the 2 to 2. One rocket connects, the other one misses, hits a tree, killing a squirrel. Pack out to find where the reason to way pack out. I, I think he needs to fall back from here before uh, Expense Runner gets him some really good hits, then wipe something. Ralph's walk there, but in fact, again, wipe. Pack out falling back. Troops enforcing healing there for Tidamiso. Still light chain there, moving a bit about. And he managed to get the pack out within the safety of the base, avoiding it falling into the hands of Expense Runner and the Panzer Leia Panzer Division. Captain Rock moving out, Tikka Nis holding up here. We are halfway to the ace level on those chaps. All sports now have been, uh, been upgraded to veteran grenadiers. Same time we got a nice flank here, taking advantage of expense run attacking him. Tinamisu coolly deduces where the best right to it is and actually at the flank of this attack. So two thumbs up even Tinamisu, though it may, of course, have hit a bit of a snag as he's actually up against two pack 40s, not just one. Can he get the suit out of there? Can he? Can he? Oh, it was a close one there, though. Close one there. But now he takes advantage of the chaos cost here to the move of the infantry. Striking that expense runner's front line there. He dashing through the here by Tidamisu. Confounding expense runner, though. He does get the sword light tank out of the way, which is pretty big. But his resource being cut off. Again, his catch is piling up. His pack crews are being decimated as Tidamisu and the 1st Armored Division launches a furious assault here on the crouch. Major out there. He can actually go for tanks soon, so despite... Pretty much going for every tier and a steward light tank before going for the major. He's still going to be able to get a tank before expense on the simple course. There's great map control. And in fact, again, that Crossroads just as a map offers more fuel than average. So expense runner is up in for a real challenge here from Tiramiso. Because Tiramiso is not letting up. He's going to need to like, put more pressure on the left flank. Of course, now the steward light tank is gone. This is going to be easier for expense runner, though. He still needs to get there. Otherwise, it's, you know, not going to matter too much. Back here, troops leaving force. We've got the lieutenant being equipped with some BARs as well there. BAR standing for Browning Automatic Rifle. It was a World War One era weapon designed for, shall say, advancing across trenches, you know, being fired while walking. It ended up being basically used like a light machine gun instead in World War II. Little fun fact there. 
Little fun fact. Piney's been with Sepomical. Very good. Rav Squad being pushed back. Sherman halfway done there for Tidamiso. For the first armored division. We turn there right about the Grenadiers. Jason Easton Pond with MD42. Enforcing healing. Sherman almost done. Rav Squad being on the west side here. Expense right. Starting to find him. Can dispatch forces westwards. Very good. Sherman tank is right about ready. Still no sign of a doctor here from Tidamiso. At this point, I could see him going for urban assault or mechanized him because we can that way upgrade the Sherman with boulders or blades, which is pretty good. But beyond that, hard to say that what could bother us be planning here versus expensive runner. What's that pack 40? Oh, it got destroyed. Definitely the best move if you can't seize it, destroying it. Definitely is less great than the expense runner. He may have to go for the Stu to respond to this, depending on Tidamiso's response. Seems to host just try and hold up for the Panther 4, which isn't the wrong choice, but the Stu certainly would be a bit more of a uh, decisive pummeling. Isad here, big push there by Tidamiso, but straight into Nimdi 42, which vehemently rebuffs Tidamiso's advance. In the center of the Sherman Rafa coming about, he pushing westwards there to deal with expense on his left flank. Eastside here holding back to the Mesa, but for how much longer? Sherman now rushing towards the center. Right about to possibly hit the pack 40 in Vetsney 2. Can soon go for the Stug, or he may of course go for the Panther 4. Theoretically, of course, he could go for the Ospin, but that was probably the uh, last thing I'd go for here personally. 347 was 467. There we go. Strength to pack 40 here for the Sherman. Second hit goes off easily. Knocking a fat chunk off the Sherman tank self. Back here, nothing further going there for Tiramiso. Can soon go for another tank, in fact, already, if he wants to. And Expense Runner is really close to the Panther 4. In fact, now he can go for it. And there he goes as soon as he can. There's not even like a second of hesitation. He just presses that button, gets out the Panther 4. It is important. Meanwhile, here, Undercover Smokey makes the attack. Thumbs up there to Tidamiso. Two thumbs up, in fact. In this case, the machine wasn't where it was hoped for, so it's... But even then, due to the way the smoke position can still help you with the machine, in fact, it gets a wipe on it. Big push there by Tidamiso. Devastating blow to expense run up there. Go rough grenades. Fired into it. Partly obscured by the smoke. This you couldn't see. Takes out some heavy hits there. Salvaging the right flank there. Had they gone a bit more lucky there for Tidamiso, that could have possibly been a GG moment there for Expense Runner, but he was able to salvage it just in time and can now go for a Panda 4. Tidamiso is not far off from another Sherman. If I can go for it, we could, of course, go for like a 7 6 minute Sherman with this doctrine. It's not surprised we haven't seen anything like at this point, you know, Urban Assault or Mechanized would just be great picks and we just, you know, upgrade this Sherman with Boulders of Blades to make it tougher. The question is just merely does he want White Phosphorus with it and Rangers? Or does he want, like, you know, bigger Shermans as well with 7 6 minute Shermans and maybe some other stuff there? Close one there with the pack howitzer. Bit of him on the west side. Panther already there for expense runner and the German army. Adding the Pintle Mountain machine gun. There he goes, shoots and misses the pack howitzer crew. Well, I'm sure I'm much relieved of it until they start feeling the wrath of the machine guns as well. And there you go, crew exterminated. Nice work there by expense runner. Though Tilemis is quick looking to pluck that one up there with the super teams and of course hold the pack howitzer back to safety. Good thing falls in healing. Pots they're being held up in East as well. Could of course use the free healing the gags to repair or heal them up. And there you go. We finally get a doctrine. It is Urban Assault here from Tidamiso and the first armored. Opening up for Boulders of Blades. White Phosphorus here via the German Assault Kit. Urban Assault equipment opening up for Molotovs. And Rifle Grenades for his rear songs if he wants that. Plus you get Rangers, cover to cover, and of course the M4 Sherman Calliope. Fixing up the Sherman tank there, good to go once more. And of course, can upgrade now with Boulders of Blades. And of course, they got the M64 White Phosphorus Shell. Adding both, very good. Nope, goes to the fifth cal first, decides not to go for the Boulders of Blades. Bold. Well, most players would typically go for them. And they do make the Sherman a bit slower, but typically. The health and army gain from it is more than enough to compensate. But it may be that Tidamiso actually is favoring speed over all things there. 
It's only be the first player I've seen to do that. But there you go. Obisat misses the Grenadier Squad there. Blows apart the cover, causing a fright there. Gunnies went right flank straight to Ralph Squad here. And Lieutenant here by the wreckage of the armored car. I'll quickly dispatch him with the Panzer IV. Another pack 48 for Expense Runner and the Panzer Leia Panzer Division. And what is Tillemiso planning? Now the Sherman, or a 76 month Sherman here. No, oh, he can't go for that because he's gone for Mechanized. So it's pretty much only Sherman for him or Jacksons. Maybe some Scots. The Super Team here hunting the Panda 4, pushing him down to half health with a volley of rockets here. Continuing the hunt here for the Panzer come fighting for half health. And there you go, he goes for Calliope. He wants more artillery to basically dig out Expense Runner. Expense Runner trying to break out on the west of this gun of Could maybe support with the Panther 4 once it's fixed up. But there you go, Calliope out. No, it could not fire the gun due to the fact the entire rocket mount was stabilized on the gun. So it fired the gun, but pretty much knock off the entire rocket assembly. Little fun fact there. Gun is on the fire here. Point. Pack setting up there, Betsy 2. Halfway there to Betsy 3. Calliope is about to unleash a rocket shotgun burst there. Oh dear. Narrowly misses a good chunk of expense runs infantry, knocking out the building. Possibly killing all the squads and hedges behind, but killing absolutely no jump. Double rifle there, tearing out chunks there of Tiramisu's frontline forces. A scathing counterattack here for Expense Runner, leaving Tiramiso and the first armored reeling. Pack out to find where the half with one picks up the Panther 4 here. Back here, troops reinforcing for X or Tiramiso. Sherman almost good to go there. Expense Runner connected soon, go for more armor. Pack gets a good hit on the Sherman. Finally, in the Boulders of Blade, realizing <laughs> he can't quite uh, use speed on this one fully. Damn it, in the Panther 4. Bag of healing enforcement going on there. And then Ostwin for Expense Runner, the Flak Panzer. Signing he's got more issues with infantry, calls in the might of the Ostwin. To send a ill wind through Tiramiso's ranks. And there you go, Ralph Scott, he runs an empty fort on the right flank. Halted and thwarted by the Gunners themselves nearby. Observing it, I hit by a pack couch around there. Calliope moving over there, looks like he's going to use the rocket shotgun blast here to clear up the machine gun. If he can hit it. Osman almost done. Pack 40 pants have already swallowed here. Troops being suppressed, and for the gaining veteran to one. Yup, he's about to hit it. To annihilate it. What is he? Or perhaps he's waiting for the pack. Oh, there you go. Rocket blast unleashed. At the same time, Panther the Sherman. Sherman down to half of There you go. Machine crew annihilated. Machine's about in fact destroyed. Rod caught taking Nazis from the Panther Fork. And he's pushing head here. Pack 40 moving up. Looks like the machine gun barely survives. Intact. Of course, the crew did not buy their drop, but don't have enough troops to pick it up here. Rob caught back at Annihilated, need to pull back here. Oh, they connected possibly grab, but no, they cannot. Calliope's main gun is out. Expense Runner's on the wall path there. He sees number two, Tidamiso may have overplayed his hand. And it's time for Expense Runner to deliver the punishment. But there you go, Tidamiso rushing his infant front here to stop this. Gets as many, many can between him and the armor. Sherman also moving up here. But now the Osman is there to punish the chunk of infantry. Pantherfall suffers a damage engine here from the round to tank grenade from one of Tidamisa's infantry. Men. Calliope and Sherman need repairs quite badly. And now Expense Run is actually in control more of the map here versus Tidamiso. Pantherfall though in need of repairs as well. Troops from westwards. That said, his left flank is actually quite exposed to the rest of Tiramisu hadn't suffered as much damage as the armor there. He could have possibly gone for a deep flank, not hit the expense runner there. He's also not far off from going for another Sherman. He just needs a bit more manpower to go. And he can call himself in another M4 Sherman. Upgrade that one as well. Calliope being fixed up. Sherman being fixed up. Fixing up that Calliope. A lot of damage down there to it. Of course, so with the regular Sherman. 
Trickling on the west side, also defending a point here. He's possibly aware that expense runner might start to harass over there, though. So far, no interest shown in that. Another machine in the FX Pentron to help further contain Tianisa's infantry. And now, dear, wow. Very, very yet to see an Osman take out an aircraft in the first shot. That was it. Like, that was the very first shot, and the Osman just shut it down. It's like, you know, hey, Carl, look at me. I'm not afraid of the German Luftwaffe. But what about the anti aircraft guns? They're what? And then downed. Jackson there for Tidamiso. Troops on the west side. He's clearly lining up for something, realizing this is just going to be a suicide mission. He just continues to blast into that. Troops in reinforcing. What will Expense want to go for next? Another Panzer IV. Ostwind. Stug. Calliope ready to unleash another rocket hail from hell. Rocket hail storm. This time, though, unfortunately, Tinamis is uh, relying on the uh, hope to get lucky artillery doctrine. Pioneered by Ernst von Lucky. Which it turns out wasn't particularly lucky or very good artilleryman. But for some reason, his artillery practice has caught on too many. Aspiring artillerymen in campaigners. Panzer 4 charging into the Sherman. Pursuit team team as well there. Rockets missing. Awesome moving up here. Great hitting from the Sherman. Can't go for another Panther in a few moments here. 281 missing from the 6. Awesome with one kill. That's the aircraft kill. And there you go. Another Panther 4 for expense runner for the German army. Tidemis was trying to figure out the, how to deliver the most efficient blow here versus Expense Runner as he launches an attack here. Straight into the Lion's Den. Expense Runner charges and tanks. Gonna call it and chase bomb. Here we go. Ooh, there is up there. And there go. Panther 4 though gets met with a hell of a volley. She's punching through. There you go. Fragmentation bomb tears through huge chunks of Tidemis' infantry. reason has gone. Major armor taken up. Pack out of crew annihilated and destroyed. A shattering blow from the Luftwaffe. Like lightning from a clear sky. Except it's Luftwaffe from a clear sky. Even rarer. He's stinging blow there. That's certainly going to leave Tidemisa a bit uh, dazed there. That said, he's still in this fight. But uh, and since he did get the Pandavore, but that's still got to hurt. Two thumbs up to that uh, fragmentation bomb there though, from Expense Runner. Looking to clear up the barrier there. Kalabi Barrage again. Once more, not the best barrage here, unfortunately, for him, but fortunately for Expense Runner. I'm sure thanking Ernst von Lucky for being so terrible at artillery. Back here, Trucks enforcing for Expense Runner. More barriers. Interesting. Not often you see that. In fact, the only player I remember regularly using these actually uh, Twisted Tootsie. Has Tiramiso perhaps undergone a uh, tutelage under Twisted Tootsie? Perhaps a pilgrimage to wherever Twisted Tootsie resides and then asked him to teach him personally the way of the Tootsie? Who knows? Perhaps not. Probably not. Nice drawing and on there. Comes like he's digging a grave for the dead, dead troops there with the Sherman. But nice use of the ability, really. I mean, these are pretty solid, you know, heavy cover and tank traps at the same time. So, two thumbs up there for Tiramizo. It's only difficult for the Pantafort just to easily deal with. Jackson narrowly avoids a shot from the pack 40 still. Tiramizo's on the defense. Now, as an expansion, you can see again, all these bears are clearly a sign of that. He's accepted that. He's now just digging in here to deal with any further sorts from Tiramis or Expense Runner. He's playing this bit like engagements. What will Tiramis go for next? Another Calliope, more tanks. Several hits on the Oswind. Another Sherman there for Tiramis. And there you go, another assault here from Expense Runner. Pantalea throws itself into it. Cover this little crumbling rob squad there. Suppressing to retreat. Calliope Barrage again. Hoping to get something. Gets the machine on this time around. 
Art Annihilation could almost get a go in the Discord here as well. Fragmentation from the Colleen in turn on the infantry. Quick retreat from the position there. As Pax is going blast away, the main gunner and the Calliope infantry continues to charge. No Shermans nearby, no troops either. Spence when they go straight for the bazooka and naps it. Sherman they will quickly pop back and take the hit with the grenadiers in there. Go great hit, Benson two game with the Sherman crew. Pack forward the Osman charging in there. A lot of band for the ST the missiles are now furiously fighting for any chance of victory in this sector. As Expense Run has got the initiative and he's not letting go. Second Sherman ready there for Tidamisu, troops reinforcing healing and rushing out. Adding quarters of blades and 50 cals, of course, to the other Sherman. Expensive runner can soon go for another Panther 1. These teams got the Sherman getting here, the Gundiers, with high explosive rounds. Rob Squad moving up. Catch the machine gun. There we go. Molotov on it. Very good. Thumbs up. In fact, it's got a lot of munitions. I'm also surprised I'm not using cover to cover. This doesn't just drop smoke, but also boost infantry movement nearby it. So there's sense of possibilities in the right flank there. Sherman engaged with the Pack 40. Ace a little bit of that. Ostman gaining Vets 21. Eins. Did someone say Heinz? Nine Eins. Dummkopf. Ach, Scheiße. No one ever says Heinz. But one day I will make everyone say Heinz. This ketchup. Are you stupid, Heinz? And my mother always said I was special. Anyway, Stug on the way there. Four expense runner. Ooh, Sherman, they're catching a huge column in from this. Sherman are looking to maybe catch some of guard. Instead, it's the one quick call off guard here. That said, he's incredibly lucky. The Sherman apparently is not a great shot there. As they only suffer negligible casualties for this pretty audacious maneuver. Can you send out? Major running back there for, well, the Major himself, as the previous one died. Gunned down by some German infantrymen from Baden Baden. Back here, troops reinforcing healing, stooping ahead here. Penalty machine should be added soon. We send the center being hampered, the advancing gun of the East, Chef Panther for the Dean on the flank here as Tidemis was launching an attempt to wrest control of the center from the expense around the German army. Calliope again gaining at least some kills this round. Got veterans won, but I have to say though, his Calliope badging so far has been rather hit and miss, and in fact, mostly miss. But there you go, veterans won. Does increase the rate of fire, so that's good. Shamming up directly from the Pack 40 and the Stuga call signaling to Tiamis. He, of course, has to worry about a mighty Stormgeschutz. Calliope there waiting for everything to be reloaded. Jackson shoots, misses the Panther IV here. Bazookas though do not. Punching several large holes in the front line of the Panther IV. Johnny's advancing bouncing up here into the Sherman's line. I finally got 13 kills, Retting 2. Rap and Captain hosting down the advantage Johnny from there. Goes uh, casually something due to the Sherman. Stuka advancing another fragmentation bomb into the midst here. Major suffering, staggering casualties again. This time he's the one surviving. The Sherman gets knocked down here by the pack and the Stug. Fragmentation bomb is off. Doesn't get any kills for the line. Is collapse, collapsing once more for Tidamiso. Jackson up the Sherman in this. Well, Rafa Scorch being rushed into the field here as well. Sherman bouncing some of the shots. It's on the rest. Stoog charging in. I think a bit reckless here. By expense run of anything. Almost got the Sherman. Stoog there. Knocked out. Bar left behind. The lieutenant making use of the barrier here. Not there's much of it left. But it is still there. And he's advancing here. Calliope's almost good to fire, could perhaps unleash hell into the advance, you know, the center of expense runner's assault. Troops off in catch there, go trying to grab the bar, but he's already got one, I think, and those nice actually the bazooka and the bar. And there you go, Calliope, bow, jump to get the gun of the ears. Gets a few, but no wipes. No wipes. Shamans, though, is almost good to go. He's going to need more armor, though, here versus expense runner. Uh, 
Now you got Osman charging in here. Bazooka fire there quickly punches several holes into it. Infantry continues their assault, needs some support from Jackson and the Sherman, but both are being repaired still. Left flank here, Lieutenant is the gunner, he's the gunner, he's done incredibly easy dealt with here, lacking any veterans versus the ace lieutenant with his BAR and his Thompson. <clears throat> Prompting a very sweet retreat there from the surviving Glenard here. Nice hit on the Osman there, but not enough to finish it off. Machine holding up, he backed up by the Panzer on the right flank. Back catch with reinforcing healing. Calliope once more sitting out there for Tidamis on the far left flank. Jackson's moving in there for some aggressive maneuvers here, looking to catch expense run off guard and do some serious damage. I think I need to rather block that. But I like the idea, I like the attempt. Calliope's almost good to go again. Sherman once more fixed up. Might set in for another show in a few moments. He has the fuel, has the manpower. We got 300 272. Machine gun on the fire, infantry being suppressed. There we go, Kalabi Bow. She wants that machine gun dead. There we go. Almost walks the entire machine crew. One man survives, though. He runs. He lives for now. Can you see? Taking some nasty hits on them down to three men already. Sherman, they finally got 50 cal. Pat gets a nice hit on the Sherman. Sword continuing through the center. Not really a lot of smoke being used here by Tinamisa. Definitely no side there. Again, cover to cover with the smoke chain from the channel. I think it would have been helpful here at times versus him. At the same time, Expense Runner has to go for Bow Ray there. Up Tinamisa's base, hoping to catch the Amulets and destroy it. But in this case, it was not what he'd hoped for. But still, a nice move there. Sherman is down to. Well, less than a quarter of health, he was the Panther 1 quickly backs off, realizing he wanted to push it more, he could lose it. In the center, we got to push it with the Gunnies. There we go, grabbing a bar. In fact, they got several bars now, plus a bazooka. Jack's moving in, he got these out in the open, Molotov up in the midst of them. Burning up Jurgen and Fritz. Coming to the western point there. Second Sherman almost down there for Tito Mesa. The fighting continues. We got the Osman blazing in there, straight into the Jackson's line of fire. Captain versus Gunnies. No mercy, no respite. And he's down just three men. Captain there hosing away. 18 kills. Down to two men. Back hitch with reinforcing healing. Austin moves in there. Six kills. Clock's ready to Western pointing sees by the gonna be. Jackson shoots, gets it. I don't even think he got a hit actually. Clive is almost good to go once more. Sherman number two ready there. Adding bolts, blades, and the 50 cal. Expense runner could consider some mine here in there versus Tillamis. So I think that'd be a great idea there. I think that'd be a very solid idea. 272 versus 261. Expense runner is bleeding up. Tillamese here fast. Tillamese needs to do something about this situation soon. He needs to pull off some greater maneuver. Deep flank with the tank supported by infantry could perhaps be it. To have used properly with cover to cover. It could sufficiently disrupt expense runner from preventing him from getting enough focus to find killing a lot of Tillamese stuff and in turn allowing his stuff to get wiped. So I think if Tillamese could do like, say, rushing up through here, hitting with here, and then calling cover to cover at the right time, could perhaps allow him to just wreck expense runner. Whether or not he actually does, that is another matter. Whether that is actually needed, even. But I definitely think smoke is going to be crucial here to like gaining a win versus expense runner. Calabi Bashi on the pack 40, and the nearby gun the ears. Pack crew there wiped out. Not the ace one, but still obviously sucks. And there go Fremont Team calling to return there. Hits the Sherman. Captain survives the uh, barrage there from the German Luftwaffe. Back to reinforcing healing. No tech there for expense runner. Clearly has no need for tier 4. Pack quickly crewed. Two thumbs up then. The center right on the front from the Austin and the MD42. Bit of scrambling around the center, but nothing decisive there. Another stoop there for expense runner. We got more berries being dug in here by. Tito Mears and there goes Sherman right flanking hit here by the pack 40. Ace one in fact being moved up there. Harney's knee get back up at the Panther 4 here. Panther 4 with Vetsons 1 10 kills. Ground the point here. Very good. Major going for the kill, but instead ends up killing a squirrel as the bazooka hits the tree instead of the Panzer.
Pen for hanging back. Last one as well. Close 22 on that one. The Stuke is right about to get done here. Four expense runner for the Panzerlea. Panzer to be sure. So named because a lot part of the division was actually pulled from different instructional units across Germany, lastly forming a shall say instant elite division. Panfor charging ahead here, pack and away there for Tiramisu, rather late for that one. Good hit there on the Sherman of the Panther Four. Sherman sadly fails to actually get a shot in there. Got a hit through this time, veterans one gain, gonna need to take heavy damage, Sherman charging force to ten, Ravko being murdered out in the open, You're about to get a wipe there, I think. Yes, down he goes. Tinamisu stands for an infantry. Lieutenant's about to get knocked out as well here. Stu continues to push forwards. Lieutenant down. Tinamisu now is forced to replace all the infantry he's suffering. Calibre Barrage though charging in here. Unleashing a deadly payload. Causing significant catch amongst the expense runners and men. There you go. Finally getting a white one. Those Gunnadiers. Took him rather long enough to get there. But that's also what the veteran Gunnadiers called helps with. It makes them less likely to just get wiped by some artillery. Which is also the reason it's so popular. Like it's not just as good in you know terms of just firepower. But just in terms of durability. It really provides something a lot of our players miss, which is not just having the units one shot it by artillery. Awesome there gaining Metsy too. Sherman there. Taking heavy down to the pack four. The Bulldog Blade does a lot to take more hits. And there you go, Artillery called in. But expansion quickly falling back here. Calliope there, close to Metsy 2. 18 kills this time around. Starting to get a bit better there, but the old situation for Tiramisu is. Rough. Very rough. The Rangers have been signed at this point. I think at this point they wouldn't do much good anyway, so they could still travel them maybe. Could upgrade the Stuka with a pin mount machine gun. Jack's moving up. Let's see two there. Good hit for him on the second hand the Stuka. The Sturmgeschutz. Shots found these, so we got the captain here versus the Panther 4. Panther 4, they're close to 22. Captain routed. Major reinforcing back here, Calliope, they're close to 22. Another Sherman there for Tiramiso for the first armor division. The assault has stalled. The Germans are digging in, and they are prone to be tough here for Tiramiso's men to remove. The new shouting forts here, fresh one out there. No Panther Gunnison Storms are there for Expansion Runner. With a nice neck, another Calliope badge, but again. Once more relying on the ounce fun lucky artillery doctrine. We're just hoping to get lucky. And pretty much just hit nothing there. Captain there with 25 kills, 53, pretty good stuff. Then another fact chase bomb here against Tinami is hoping to take out that ambulance. No dice there. Major's about to get knocked out. The Sherm down to half health. And we got another to strike on the car point. Sherman there taking heavy damage and survives thanks to the Bulldozer Blade. So if it not been for those, that Sherman would have been toast. Gunnies was the captain. Cash is piling up. Jackson hanging back here. One kill, but need two. Expense runner very much in a strong position. There goes Sherman pushing heading straight to the pack 40s and the Stug. Oh, that is not a great chance for the Sherman to survive. It may not even get the Bulldozer Blade before it gets blown apart here. Down to less than a quarter of health. The Panther for crushing the Mage's men. Betty 2 gain the shoots and added. Captain Chad Ponton in the Austin Flag Panzer. 9 kills, 32. Jackson misses the Panther 4. Almost got the Captain there. And we got Rangers out here finally for Tiramisu, adding the Thompsons. Of course, one thing could also done that when Suno could actually go on for bazookas on the equipment trail bazookas. They're actually quite good versus medium armor. That could have been an option there for Tidamisa to consider. But by now, I don't think that's going to do him too much good. That's sad. Like, he might sort of a tiny chance he pulls up with, like, flank that is aggressive enough and catches his equipment off guard enough. But he just keeps focusing around here. Maybe that Tidamisa, in fact, at this point has tongue missioned here versus expense runner. The gun is holding off here. Rangers murdering into them. Thompson's arms, there we go, grenade off into the middle of the gun beast. Almost got a wipe there. Bazooka's firing at the Oswind. Half health. And the Calliope loses its main gun, preventing it from firing at all. That is some bad luck. Western point we seized by the gun it is. Jackson hanging back, halfway to the east level. 
I'm surprised Tim is still finding this. It increasingly starts to look like he has no chance with this, but he's still finding. He refused to give up. He refused to yield to the Nazis. Captain Nadine with the gun leads out in the open. Tank through them with heavy BAR fire. Driving them with unrelenting pain and punishment. In the center, Tilamisa's men are moving up there. Rangers ready. Two kills. Thompson's in hand. Also being fixed up. In the west side, the gun is with the captain. Slow bleed out there. 272% of 20. I think a good push from Expense Runner could probably win it, like charging with assault and hold, maybe calling in a fragmentation bomb as well. It's the right time, I think. Could basically break to the Muso now. That's what's going up there. Could maybe be now. Could be now. Pentwell taking a lot of damage in the process. The Stuka and the Osmond are not supporting now. The infantry calling a fragmentation bomb here feels a bit late. He could have been executed, I think, better there by the Expense Runner, to be honest. There you go. Gets the anti tank gun, though. The anti tank and self fact also getting destroyed. Denying it to Tidamisa's infantry, he's barely alive now. About to lose the Ranger squad here. Machine gun parked right outside. There you go. Ranger down. He's done just the Major and the Captain and a bunch of tanks. And a tank destroying the ambulance. But that's it. The rest is gone. Spencer calling another Stuke here. First Stuke moving ahead here. At this point, I think is very much out of it. But he keeps finding he is stubborn. He refuses to give up. But at this point, we're we'll Next to no infantry left. I think his chance of really particularly since he keeps attacking head on to expense run. He seems refusing almost to just flank him out maneuver at this point. Which we have to do. I think he'd at least have a marginal chance. But at this point, if he just keeps up these head-on attacks versus expense runner, I think his chance of winning this are rather slim and limited. Coming at here, Stuke shoots. Oh Jackson shoots me. It's Stuke though. Number two arrives here, so that's two shoot fix runner. run up. Two thumbs up for two stooks. That's just how the rules go. Austin winning head here, Stook backing up. Austin absorbing hits for the Stook by the looks of it. And from the west being bombarded by the remaining shell, that is incredibly low on health. Major being murdered out. We got 272 and 91. Stook that gets to go in the Jackson. Same Stook that being moved forward here. Double hits there on the Sherman. Pack forming the Nego. Calibre Barrows killing the Pioneers. Infantry in trouble. Osman in trouble. Stukes charging ahead here. Sherman in trouble. There you go. Jackson knocks out the main gun. The Stuke got the Stuke. They're going here for the Jackson tank. Destroy half health. Need to get the Stuke out there. No, the Stuke gets knocked out. Arc 9 has just gained Metri 2. Oh, the Stuke in trouble. The Stuke team being routed. Gets. No, the Sherman misses. It's missed. And the Jackson takes out the Stuke. He's got no Stukes left. A tragedy. Demon then. I don't think there's much left here for Tina Misa to do. Jack Sherman down. Jackson Sherman pushing heads here. That main gun out there. Sherman down. Jackson down. And there you go. GG. Game over. A loss there for Tina Misa. A victory for Expense Runner. A victory. For Germany, a brutal fight here with Tillemus. really had the early to mid game, but ultimately struggled there with the late game. And basically, when he picked, like, expense run again, then he should, Tillemus struggled really to break it. Like, he just kept attacking head on. He didn't try to outmaneuver him. He didn't try to, like, smoke or chill him in a you know, smarter manner, particularly the Calibre badges. A lot of time got wasted, which really helped expense run up. As expense run, I think, was very smart with how he then defended. And then just refused to, like, give up the advantage of Tillemus. So, some good play there, but Tillemus kind of found the ball there by the end and rather gave the match there to expense runner. So, there you go. Home job this match. Have learned something from it if you did subscribe like share comment on it tell a friend tell a family don't tell enemies listen pearl links and cheers see you all tomorrow for another episode bye